Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Visual Basic 2010 Express. Um, I'm not going to talk about uh, uh, the system requirements or the installation of Visual Basic. I'm just going to focus uh, to write a simple script in Visual Basic Express. To start making a script we are going to open a new project. It's maybe can take a while to open that uh, if you have a slow computer and we are going to choose a windows form application that's the easiest one the name doesn't matter because you can uh, change it later now the computer is creating the project that can take a while um, Okay, there's our first form, and in our first form, uh, oh, it's still loading, okay, okay, it's ready, okay, in our first form, I'm going to set a button, yeah, and I'm going to uh, set a label, and I'm going to make an hello world script, on the internet you find and a lot of hello world scripts but I'm going to do the same because that's the easiest one and to give you a good impress so I'm going to write label 1 and label 1 is um, and the, the button I'm going to change here with properties huh? on the right you can find text I'm going to change that to hello world and enter and you see it changed in hello world but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger also I'm going to make the font a bit bigger I'm going to set it on uh, 10 hello world like that and then the label also on size 10 okay then I'm going to click uh, double click on hello world And then we have the code. Now you can see uh, here is button one click, uh, and then handles its code. The computer makes that. And then we just have to write. You see here label one. It's named name is label one, and then a uh, the world name is button one. So here you can see uh, button one click. Then we make uh, label one, label one point, point text is hello world, and then we are going to test our script. So if we click on the hello world button, it's going to change label one to hello world so we are going to click on play start debugging and then you can test the application hello world it says it works nice so then go to close that okay now it isn't nice that there is written label one so we are going to hide that label one so we're going to uh, the properties gun and here really down stairs really down you can uh, see visible is true and we're going to set that on false and then when it's written false then uh, we are going to the form so here is when you click on button one label one pen text is hello world but it's still hidden so we are going to make a new one and that's right label one label one point show and that one is going to show our label one which is hidden so if we start debugging and we run the application then we click on hello world and tada we have hello world on, us, on our computer Okay, then we are going to make a buy world button. 
So we insert a new button. Uh huh. Buttons. We're going to make that button also on uh, the font. We're going to set that one also on ten. And the button is written. Oh, sorry, no, the size. No, so it has to be ten. And then we go to text and we write by world. So hello world and then by world. And if you click on by world, we are going to click double, double click. Then we are also have our code again and then button two point uh, click. And then um, we are going to make a label one point text is by world. So that has to work. So if we click on play and we click on hello world, you see hello world and we click on by world, there's by world. But there is one problem. When we run the application and we click on by world, there happened nothing. And that's because in our code we have written the button one click that he has to show label one. But here we just say label one text is by world, but it's still hidden because we have here a setting uh, that says it isn't visible. So to show by world also every time, also, also when you click first on by world, we have to set label one, label one point show. And that has to work it now. So if we click on by world, it shows by world. If we click on hello world, it shows hello world. So that was my first tutorial about Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thumbs up and uh, see you later. If you have uh, suggestions about a new tutorial, leave a reaction. And if you have a good suggestion, I will make that as my new tutorial. Thanks for watching. And